Regarde Regarde, c'est pour toi là Regarde Oh merde Belmanche est le dernier département encore en red alert, until 10 a.m. The channel will face winds which will continue to blow very strongly until the beginning of the afternoon, warned, Thursday, November 2nd, the prefect, Xavier Brunetier, on France Blue Codenton. At this stage, a few people had to be rehoused, in the department and residents are invited to remain confined to their homes, unless necessary. Follow our live stream. La Manche is kept on red alert for strong wind until 10 a.m., While Finisterre then coats the armor was downgraded to orange in the morning, Matteo France reported. In total, 23 departments are placed on orange vigilance, from the Pyrenees Atlantiques to the north, as well as in the southeast, mainly for wind and wave submersion. At 7 a.m., 1.2 million homes were in the dark, including 780,000 in Brittany, network manager Enidus reported on Thursday during the passage of Storm Kieran. Trees fell on power lines and towers were torn down, according to the company, which mobilized 3,000 people to restore power. During the night, numerous absolute wind records were broken in Brittany, with exceptional gusts, according to Matteo France. In Finisterre, the public body recorded 193 km per hour near Point St. Matthew, in Plugunvelin, 171 km per hour in Lanviac, 163 km per hour in Landivisu, 156 km per hour in Brest and 147 km per hour in Campere. The Finisterre Prefecture announced on Thursday morning a ban on driving on the department's roads due to the state of the roads hampered by numerous obstacles. The only vehicles authorized are those of health and emergency services, law enforcement and people mobilized to manage the situation. In Côtes d'Armor and Manche, only heavy goods vehicles and public transport must remain in the garage at this stage. The Finisterre Prefecture reported one minor injury after a road accident caused by a falling tree. Initial material damage was noted in the department, including two folded cranes in Brest. Daycare centers are closed like sports facilities in Campere. In Côtes d'Armor and Morbihan, falling branches and trees were observed, electrical wires fell on the road, roofs of houses and businesses were damaged and roads were flooded, reports France Blue Armorique. In the channel, two orders were issued on Wednesday to prohibit the circulation of heavy goods vehicles, public transport, and caravans. Access to the maritime public domain is also prohibited. In the channel, the wind blew up to 171 km per hour in Granville, or 153 km per hour in Carteret, and 131 km per hour in Cherbourg. In Seine Maritime, gusts reached 153 km per hour at Cap de la Hive, near Le Havre, 112 km per hour in octaville sur mer 107 km per hour in Rouen, and more than 100 km per hour in Evreux. In Loire Atlantique, a gust of 154 km per hectare was recorded at Che Moulin Point in Saint Nazir around 4.30 am. In Mayenne, gusts were recorded at 118 km per hour in Ernie, 107 km per hour in Rues Vas, and even 98 km per hour in Laval where the wind had never blown so strongly in November according to Matteo Mayen. In Côtes d'Armor, the ban on the circulation of heavy goods vehicles and public transport is extended until noon. The prefect recommends that residents of the department not borrow their car unless necessary for at least the whole morning, to let the emergency and department services clear the roads. The departments and national forests are closed to the public until further notice.